Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, I'm definitely the wrong person to do a um, a video on Paul Neary. Um, but other than that, I loved his work, so I'm going to give it a shot. But I don't I don't like doing um, kind of these types of videos. Um, we did the the one for Keith Kiffin, of course, um, with Joe Casey, Joe Corallo, uh, which was a great kind of stream where he talked about him. And uh, I think you know that's probably the way to do it. There's people who know him better. I I always feel like an imposter. Uh, when I come in and I talk about someone, even though I think Paul Neary meant a lot to me. So, but I did want to give it a shot because uh, just speaking from the heart, that's what we'll give it a shot with. But I want to give you a little background on Neary because um, Paul Neary was an incredible artist. Uh, he did a lot of, of pretty great work. Um, but if you were a fan of Marvel, you probably remember Paul Neary's uh, name mostly from collaborating um, with other creators. Um, you know, in particular, uh, Alan Davis. And um, he worked almost exclusively with Alan Davis and then Brian Hitch for a long period of time. But there's a period, especially if you're reading X-Men, um, where if you saw Alan Davis and uh, Paul Neary on a book, you just knew you were going to get one of the best goddamn books you, you could get. Uh, the two of them created just magic. And uh, I've talked about kind of a lot of different things he's done, but one of... Um, you know, there's a, an annual, and it wasn't it wasn't big to the mythology of the X Men. It was it was ultimately Wolverine centric, and uh, I should get the the number of it, but but basically, they, you know, they they fight a villain. The the rest of the X Men kind of fall to some temptation, and Wolverine is the one who kind of, even though at great personal cost, um, you know, basically gets his team out of the trap, defeats the villain, and um, is such a powerful story, but. It's, it's, you know, good Claremont writing, but it's, it's at the end of the day, powerful because of Alan Davis and Paul Neary. And in particular, I think Paul Neary did a lot of heavy lifting that, you know, got kind of, I don't want to say ignored, but, you know, you, you, you focused on the penciler first. People just do. And uh, the inker is, you know, just, just a lesser somehow um, of how, of how this was done. So, you know, but Paul Neary did draw plenty. I mean, he did some, uh, he did some work in Captain America. He did, he did, he did lots of things. Um, and I, 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 I there's Kazar. I mean, hell, the guy did so much. Um, but, uh, he really, you know, I, I'll, I'll read a little bit of his bio here, but, but I want you to go look up this guy. If you haven't heard of this guy's Paul Neary, um, he was, uh, I mean, he was just incredible and you need to get to know this talent. There's a lot of creators right now who are losing, um, you know, certainly George Perez uh, recently. I mean, and, and Keith Giffen, like Mitch. I mean, there's tons of amazing, amazing artists that are, are we're, we're losing. And for a lot of fans who came in during the 90s, you may not have ever really come across their work. Or when you did, they were kind of, you know, the time was passing them by. And it's worth checking some of this stuff out because absolutely incredible. And on top of that, you know, I know the, the, what you see more popular now is that the artist is penciling and inking their own work. Well, you've heard me talk about this before. I think if you get a great penciler and a great inker together, um, you, you get just absolute magic. And that's, that's where, you know, I, I wanted to draw the attention to, to Neary and, and give you a little bit of his life and encourage you to go, go check him out. So, um, I'll read a little bit of this bio to you, but, but Paul Neary, two-time Marvel UK editor in chief, an acclaimed artist and inker for both Marvel and DC has passed away at the age of 74. Um, born in the UK in 49, passionate fans of comics. He was professional, turned professional in the early 70s, initially working as an artist, penciler for Warren Publishing, where he drew eerie, creepy, vampirella, and then moved over to Marvel UK. Now, Marvel UK, for, for many people who come into this later, just, just means Marvel. But Marvel UK actually did a lot of unique work, um, and he was drawing the Hulk comic. Uh, which was relaunched in Incredible Hulk Weekly. And this was all to promote the uh, Bill Bixby show. Um, but then uh, was hired an editor and then became, you know, full editor shortly after um, and uh, became editor-in-chief. And at that point, Paul Neary, and this is really important as a story, he hired Alan Davis and uh, writer Dave Thorpe to reinvent Captain Britain. Now, Thorpe uh, didn't stick around for very long, but Davis remained. And, uh, Davis, um, and, and, you know, and 
Davis and Paul Neary at that point, sorry, I mean, it's not, I'm not choked up, just, just, there's a lot of thoughts here I'm trying to convey, but, but Davis and Neary started this collaboration that would really kind of last for a long time. But, but Neary hired Alan Davis. The reason why Alan Davis, you could argue, got so much success in Marvel was because Paul Neary found that talent, cultivated and hired him. And then to, to make matters, you know, to go a little bit further, to showcase that the guy wasn't just uh, lucky at hiring one person, uh, Neary hired Alan Moore to write uh, Captain Britain. And, and this was a young Alan Moore who was early in his career. And so, um, you know, and, and Neary also collaborated with Alan Moore. And, and so you could argue that Alan Moore's career was potentially uh, greatly helped. At least, I, you know, good talent finds a way to shine its way through, but but Moore owes Neary a pretty big thanks for, you know, for, for his career. And so, you know, uh, as Neary um, kind of returned to being an artist and Alan Davis became more popular, um, Davis asked Paul Neary to ink his book. And this was when he was working on Batman and the Outsiders over at DC. And uh, Neary said yes. And this became, I, I mean, a good almost two decades of the two working together. And uh, they, it, it just, just an incredible collaboration. As again, you see some of the imagery of what the two did together, their work on Excalibur. Um, it, it, the, the crispness of the lines, the detail in the work, this stuff holds up today. You pick up one of these comics, and I know uh, sometimes people give the criticism that, uh, oh, this comic looks dated, or this definitely looks like a, a different time. You see people lobbying those complaints like idiots uh, to John Byrne and others. But you pick up an Alan Davis, Paul Neary book, and it looks beautiful in 2024 like it did in you know 1998. Uh, just incredible work. Um, when Neary kind of returned to being an editor in chief um, in uh, in 1990, um, he then would go on to hire Brian Hitch, Dan Abnett, Salvador Laroca, Liam Sharp, uh, you know another person we lost there with uh, Laroca. That just just um, again incredible, incredible talent. And you look at the 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 sheer names that Paul Neary had a hand in bringing in. Um, he he absolutely deserves a, a major, major amount of, uh, of kudos for his, his impact in the comic industry is huge. And, uh, as I see, as I see the reason why I did this video, I saw people like, Oh, you know, a great inker. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you take nothing away from it. It's beautiful masterpiece work, but in addition to being a great inker, a great, great cultivator of talent, somebody who knew the right people to hire, a uh, great artist by himself. You see Paul Neary on his own, no problem. He he draws wonderfully. And, uh, you know, his work with Davis, Brian Hitch, um, worked with uh, uh, Mark Millar and, and Hitch on The Ultimates. Um, he did uh, get ill in his later life and, and kind of, uh, you know, that cut a lot of what he did short. But um, just just an amazing talent. So I want, if you, if you haven't heard, first of all, if you if you knew of Paul Neary and, you know, if you've been reading comics for any length of time, you have to have. Hopefully this gives you a few more things of his contributions. So you see the bigger uh, impact this guy did. Um, but if you haven't heard of Paul Neary, please go check him out and, and uh, raise a glass uh, when you can to uh, this, this incredible, incredible contributor to comics. One of the nicest guys you've ever met. Um, I, I met him several times and nothing but, nothing but nice things to say about him. I think he was... Uh, he was a coordinator. He was a finder of talent, incredible artistic uh, talent, just a just a damn good guy. So rest in peace, Paul Neary. We will miss you. 